This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz, the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The Global Weakest Links tally declined for the fourth consecutive month in January, reaching a two-year low of 195 as of January 19th, with five additions and eight removals since December 26th. Six of the removals were defaulted issuers, and three of these were from the oil and gas sector. Weakest Links most recently peaked in August 2016 at 251, propelled by stress in oil and gas due to a prolonged period of unstable commodity prices, which resulted in deteriorating credit quality. Oil and gas weakest links subsequently grew year over year, peaking in 2017 as crude oil prices slumped. However, healthy demand for oil and OPEC production cuts, among other factors, allowed oil prices to rise and stabilize through 2017, and in kind, weakest links have declined. Furthermore, S&P Global Ratings raised its price assumptions for Brent crude oil in 2018, while West Texas Intermediate, or WTI, and Henry Hub Natural Gas Assumptions remain unchanged for 2018 and 19, indicating that we should not expect a bump in oil and gas weakest links in the near future, although this depends on many variables. Weakest links issuers rated single B- or lower with negative outlooks, or ratings on credit watch with negative implications, or forward-looking indicators of default propensity because they have greater default risk than higher-rated issuers. The 195 Global Weakest Links have total rated debt worth approximately $231 billion. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.